Hello everyone, today I'd like to talk about how to make new tile sets from uh, some PNGs or any kind of image with different dimensions. So let's see, let's create a new file. I'll name it whatever, maybe lava. I'll make a lava map. So the tile width and height should be 20 because we're gonna make uh, map for us over okay pretty good let's create the file and add the tile sets okay this you might notice that this is from RPG maker MV okay let's add this one now every time you want to import a PNG you will have this window so that you can set it the tile width and height beforehand you can even embed the tile set so that you don't have to uh, tinker with the base 64 thing anymore so uh, let's just stay let's put it like this 20 by 20 and let's see you can see that it's messed up because it's wrong it's not 20 by 20 so you might notice that there are some buttons on the right side the top one is obviously a delete button the second one is tile so if you want to add tile properties you can use that and add button on the bottom if you want to add another tile set and the information button is actually a properties button but i cannot find a better icon so let's click it now you can set the width and height here and you don't have to worry about tile column and count because it will be automatically adjusted so let's just put it here the right dimensions 24 by 24 click apply that's it oh, great so let's add some more tile sets i have this one 24 by 24 okay Maybe another one should be also 24 by 24. Okay, we have our tile sets ready, so let's put it on our map. But before that, we'll need to make sure that we set this preference. Click preference, and this resize tiles. It's really important because if you don't click that, the are not going to resize to the grid so I'll just show you so if you don't have the resize option and you click one of these look it overflows it's not good but it might be necessary for uh, some purpose but not here because we are all making a tile set so let's just set it to resize tiles and it fits okay let's remove that okay let's say i want to make a lava tile set so i'll put this I, which which one should i use oh i think this one is good this is for base oh yeah make sure to change the tool let's use the base uh, the ground if you like and you'll put this for the reach but you don't want to put all of this for some reason so let's just do this yeah pretty good maybe I switch to this oh yeah better all right and you might want to put this here like there why because it will help to make auto tiling easier i'll tell you later okay so let's add some more on oh, this one two three four five six seven eight Should be here okay that's it for our lava team tile set should we add something more 
I don't know, this looks weird. Oh, let's put those things. Mm, maybe not. Ah, this, this. this looks cool. Yeah. Alright, let's save it. So we all need a PNG. So, click on the map. And tools. Export to PNG. Yep, it's done. Let's try to make the map for Rust Warfare. So, Lava Wars, yeah, whatever. It's for the game, so I'll use 100. Yep, um, no, wrong. It's, it's easier if we use the weight because otherwise you'll have to set the layer's name and tile sets default for the units so just use a template I'll use this one because it's the simplest one if you don't have it you can click download here it should be here and download okay okay I don't need this so apply and I might want to delete all of those alright looking good so well we'll need to add the tiles at first yeah use the plus button is it here yeah, it's here lava export click ok the size is 20 by 20 and click this embed tile set so that you don't have to worry about the base 64 thing like okay so when you click the embed tile set you can see that it creates a uh, custom properties of this embed tile set so it's neat anyway let's create an outer tile for this so the thing is you will need to create two outer tile one is for the crown one is for the lava so let's make it for the ground we are gonna use the completion template and remove this one two three one two three one leave the zero zero oh no i deleted it uh, whatever yes. i'll make a new one zero zero okay the source should be this one on the left side okay the layer is three because we'll need it to put on the set layer the selection layer is crown to zero so this should be the same as the source let's click here okay that's it for the completion on the crown of the tile it's done so let's create the lava for this we'll need to use the bit mask click apply remove unnecessary this okay see the source is this one okay source layer should be 3 selection layer 0 against this okay and for the rest just click the parse button that's it automatically nice but in order to use the parse button you need to format your tile set like this it has to be like this so okay so can see our tile set here 
crown and lava let's create a map using that I'll just fill it with this then create some lava river this real auto tile oh something's wrong okay maybe because of this we'll this this one yeah let's try again wow nice Oh, this style set is hard to look at oh yeah yeah we need to fix that too and this is not good okay nope. yeah and we can use our decoration here the item layer okay looks great but then again those tiles is a new tile set so they don't have the correct properties so we'll need to give them the right properties so let's open the tile set here click on this button this tile tile set button click and click on my mass tile properties and lava is our first concern click ok should be this one yeah only that one save another one is lava lava cliff just block everything and remove this one save and we might also want large rock What is safe? That's it. Should be ready to use now. We're going to put some units up here. This is here. here. And here. Oh, wait, I forgot to put this thing and the items layer somewhere here 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 right. so let's take screen sort of this and send it to Ross Warfare Okay, our map's ready. Let's play. 